first starting out by cleaning my hairline with some rubbing alcohol it's very important to clean your hairline before you apply your adhesive because if your hairline is not clean the glue will not stick so make sure you really clean your hairline good and the hair that i'm using today is from ali julia this is their malaysian curly hair so i'm just putting on my wig just to see how everything is you know where the part is going to fall and where the wig is going to you know fall on my hairline so that i can get an idea where to place my glue so now i'm just taking some clips and i'm clipping my hair back and the glue that i'm going to use is ghost bond glue and this is my first time using any type of lace adhesive um i normally i normally just used to use got to be glued but um this is my first time trying lace glue and i really do like this glue i've worn it a few times it does not pull off your edges it's really easy to take off if you take it off properly so um yeah i really do like this glue so i'm just starting out by dotting a few dots around my hairline and notice how i'm putting this glue in front of my hairline i'm not putting this glue on my edges you do not want to put this on your edges unless you want to be bald so i'm placing the glue in front of my hairline then i'm taking a um this is actually a paintbrush that i got from the, uh, the craft store and i'm just going to smooth the glue down you want to make sure that the glue is flat because we're, i'm going to be doing two layers and you want to make sure that the first layer dries completely flat and clear so that the second layer goes on nice and smooth so i'm just um smoothing the glue out and then i'm going to wait for it to dry and i'm going to apply my second layer and i'm going to wait for that to dry and then we're going to put the wig on So now that my second layer is dry, I'm going to go ahead and place my wig down. Um, I normally only do two layers. I know some people that do like three or four layers, but like I said, I don't wear my wig for that long. So I find I feel that two layers is good for me. And um, I start by placing my wig. I secure my wig down in the middle first, and then I go ahead and I secure the sides. And I'm just using my fingers to really make sure that the lace is really adhered to the glue. And you're also going to see me using um, a rat tail comb just to really massage the lace into the glue. So as you can see, there's a little bit of um, leftover glue like in the front of my lace. So what I do to remove that, I just take the rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and just scrub the excess glue off from in front of my hairline. Now I'm taking some foaming lotion just to like push all my hair back because I'm about to put a scarf on and let the wig set in the glue until it's like completely dry. So I'm gonna put my scarf on for about five or 10 minutes just to make sure that the, the lace is really like stuck to the glue. So now that the wig has gotten time to like set and settle, I'm going to go ahead and do my baby hairs. I use a mix of the Got To Be Glued and the Eco Styler Gel. 
I don't like to use um eco no I don't like to use the got to be glued by itself because it makes my edges look stiff so um yeah I mix those two gels and I just take a regular old toothbrush and I just um style my baby hairs how I want them to be styled um I know a lot of people don't like baby hairs I personally feel like it just adds so much personality to the wig so um yeah I'm just slaying my baby hairs how I like them So after I style my baby hairs, I put my scarf on again just to kind of let, you know, the baby hairs sit and, you know, let them, I don't know, you probably don't have to do that, but I just do it. So I'm taking some face powder just to adjust the color of the lace because the lace was a little bit light for my skin tone. So just take a face powder that's not the same color as you, but like a little bit darker to kind of make the lace blend in a little better. And now I'm taking my hot comb. This is my favorite tool to use on my front tools. It just makes the front tool like nice and flat and it just makes the hair look so good. So I'm just um flat ironing the front tool to get it nice and flat. And then I'm gonna go in with my wax stick to smooth everything out. 